Um, John, let's get back to you. White people make up over 60% of the population, but uh, 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 but make up 41% of fatal police shootings, while black people make up 13 0.4% of the population and, and make up 22% of police shooting. So it is a fact that people are, uh, that black people are killed at a higher rate, um, that, uh, disproportionately, they're targeted disproportionately. Um, so what are your thoughts on that? I think when you look at the numbers, which again, aren't great, the numbers, I think, I think it was the Guardian that did the most comprehensive year study of the exact numbers. And then you take into account who's armed and who's unarmed. And it comes out to, a, it, it's still, at least the numbers I was looking at were coming out to showing that white people were actually killed at a higher rate. But like I said, you can give your numbers, I can give my numbers, but there is no evidence that black people are being targeted, that black, that police are going out and looking for black people and discriminating against black people and saying, I'm gonna go into black communities and shoot them at a higher rate. I mean, that's the narrative. The narrative out there is that black people are intentionally being targeted because of some well, why institutionalized George, why did George racism. Floyd get shit? Why did why did they kill George Floyd? What because they, he was, he's he's guilty. He was committing he was a crime. They killed George no, Floyd. No, George he was Floyd was guilty. Crime. He's guilty of ki of killing a man. Yes, he targeted but George him. Floyd he, was he also killed. committing a what crime. What about George South Floyd Carolina when they put when they told the man to run and they shot him in the back? Which I, what about Grand Rapids when George he was Floyd. on the ground George and said be Floyd still and they crime. shot him yes, three times in the back crime, of the head. But he was still in the process of committing a crime. And what, then what, about, the, the what about the man the in South Carolina? Obviously. They told him to walk away and they shot him in the back. I'm sure I'm sure that I'm sure that what happened. about the brother in Grand Rapids who was on the ground and the police shot him. Boom, 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 boom. In the and back I've, of the seen, head. I've seen so videos black people of, ain't I, being targeted. I've seen videos of white people, too. In the exact show same situation show where they are running away, show I can't show me. you. We're on a we're on a freaking show. I can't I mean, show I mean, you. Send them to me. You, you, you know what? I've looked for them. I can't find them. I'll email so I'll Harvard, them. you want to give me your email? Harvard, I'll send them to you. Harvard, They're Harvard, Harvard actually, ahead, Harvard, uh, Harvard me. actually, Harvard actually did a study between 2013 and 2017 that said that black people are targeted four percent higher than any other race. So black people are targeted. Black people are convicted more. Than any other race, so that's that's your that's your that's yeah. Your I mean, it, right because there. Harvard well, that did a study. We believe Harvard, right, John? We that, would, that was that, believe that's them. what I'm going to say. I that's don't know if I'm going to trust Harvard. Harvard, who is in the middle of a lawsuit right now for discriminating against Asians in their admissions process. So I'm not sure they're the most reliable source on that. Like I said, we can throw numbers around be discriminated against but you want to believe it when it comes to pushing down a study but when we talk about discrimination all of a sudden it's irrelevant no that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying it's irrelevant what i'm saying is that there are no numbers that show that police are intentionally targeting black people there are numbers you've just determined to interpret the numbers in the way that are in your favor you haven't addressed any of the other positions here that you just keep saying 50 percent, 50 percent. but what does that mean when people do these analysis they're not just saying you committed the crime at a higher rate that's not what the what the numbers are saying there, there are no analyses these are these are raw numbers that you're looking at these are raw numbers and the left has built an entire narrative around all of this saying that black people are discriminated against and it signals to institutionalized racism. All I'm saying is that there is no evidence that this is institutionalized, that this is hey, discrimination. Hey, and John, even if the raw numbers you know it, show that- But that I'm Republican, people, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a left and I'm telling you that the numbers say that black people are three times as likely to get targeted by police than anybody else. I'm not a liberal, I'm not a left, I'm a hardcore conservative Republican. It's the truth, the truth is the that, truth. So, so take the left out of there, the, na the narrative is still that it is an intentional targeting of black people that all police or at least the majority or a large percentage of policemen are racist. And that the fact of the matter is that the reason they commit these crimes, no, we didn't say racist. The reason they are shooting blacks is not. We didn't say racist. We said targeting. Not, targeted. not racist. It's targeted. because police are racist. No, it doesn't have anything to do with racism. Nobody brought racism up. Police target black people because in their training, they're taught that blacks and Hispanics are more likely to be the person committing crimes than anybody else. It's literally in their training guide. It don't have anything to do about racism. It's, it's their I training, mean, bro. To okay, make so matters if, worse, if they're let's committing remember, crimes let's at remember, higher rates, to make matters rate. worse, there's, there's a police, there's, it was a national story, there was a police department in Michigan that literally had in their, in their target practice, in their gun range, all black men 
as target practice. Real photos. They're not targeting. These are real photos. Real photos. Real pictures. And they've apologized of black for people. that. They they have a, they have taken the task to apologize for that. So we'll see how many other police departments uh, come with that same apology. Hmm. 